What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to another training guide. Today we are sticking with the fan choice, the fans choice young stars, and we're going to be throwing in Foden and Martinelli in together. They're very similar players, right? But they're different in a lot of ways as well. I know that contradicts myself, but Foden is all about kind of like run and gun, rapid pace, uh, really, really good acceleration and balance and kind of low center of gravity. If you're used to playing with Messi, this is a good example of a player that is extremely like him. He has double touch and one touch pass off the rip, but he also has a, uh, has a couple of unique stats such as true pass and way to pass and low lofted, which for a winger, I definitely think is going to be something that you will use. You'll be surprised at how well well he plays on the pitch he does have standard form as does Martinelli who we'll get a look at as well so we're going to throw the two of these boys in and put them into the same training guide um just to kind of give you an example of how to train two very different players but similar in a way that you can train them really similar but they'll play differently if that makes sense I'm probably not making sense but they can both play left mid they can both play left wing they both got pace they both got trickery I would say that Martinelli on the surface he's more of an outright kind of like wide player compared to Foden who suits you know kind of roaming in Martinelli's down as a Roman flank as well he's a left midfielder he's not down as a prolific winger he's got first time shot heel trick track back um, he doesn't have double touch or one touch pass. So while on the surface they look kind of similar similar players, um, they are very different in how they actually perform depending on how you train them. And it just goes to show you, I think it's a good contrast between similar stats but very different experiences that you're going to get with both of them, especially as they're so close in, rate, in rating and stats, right? So I think with Foden, right, as a creative playmaker, Foden is a difficult enough player to play with, especially out wide, okay? Part of this is because he is a very kind of pass first player but he's got rapid pace right so when you're training up Foden okay I would definitely be taking a look at what works for him and what position you want to have him in so we're over here on eFootball DB and we're going to take a look at his card right so I know that people are still obsessed with you know getting the best version of the card and having the best highest overall and they're like oh 96 rated version of Foden fantastic you know what a player but it's kind of like overkill with this card to have him trained up to a 96 overall right Firstly, you're going to be putting 10 into dribbling to get this rating here, and you're going to have 95 ball control, 97 dribbling, and 94 tight possession. Fantastic, brilliant, like absolutely insane. But at the cost of that extra bit of pep in his step, um, no pun intended, or is there a pun intended? Yes, there probably is. His acceleration is going to be under 90, his balance is only going to be 91, and his offensive awareness is going to be 83, right? Not a huge deal, right? Not a huge deal at all, especially with the player skills that you have on this card Double touch is going to, you know, really be uh, powerful with Foden because of his dribbling. And then you also have true pass and way to pass and low off the pass. So you don't need the passing stats to be as high as some other players, like especially if you're crossing the ball in, right? The problem with this Foden card, in my opinion, is the fact that this version of him that they released was a whole player and he had just a perfect blend of stats with the low passing, the dribbling, and the acceleration and speed with the balance, right? So that is kind of who we would like to replicate because we want our Foden to be able to cut in. If you're looking for an outright winger, right, I would definitely recommend somebody with a bit more natural pace, such as Maximin, such as Dembele, Sané, Mane, somebody like that that is able to get it out wide and be able to just play out wide as a prolific winger, right? It does make a difference compared to a play style such as creative playmaker. I think Foden is best when he kind of roams in into the central areas, kind of like Neymar, that you're able to take on a shot, you're able to pass the ball, you're able to cross the ball, kind of like an all-rounder that's kind of like... Kind of like a fake 10, really, that he's kind of roaming into that position, that little slot in interchanging with your attacking midfielder. Whereas Martinelli is going to be a different type of player because he's got a Roman flank play style. He's going to be all about keeping it out wide, okay? Even though he doesn't have pinpoint crossing or early crosser, you will still be able to get the ball in with him even though he doesn't have those stats, right? So if we are going training up Foden, I'm going to train him up this way, right? I'm going to be saying to myself, well, I do want to be able to shoot with him. Passing needs to be a little bit better and his dribbling doesn't need to be this high, right? So for Foden here, I'm definitely going to cap it at this. I'm going to put four into dribbling. You're still going to have dribbling at 91 with the boost if you get the player form arrow up. And then his ball control and type session are all going to go past 90 as well with that form arrow, okay? 
dexterity that is probably the key one for this right so i i see people the whole time saying oh you don't need this much acceleration you don't need this you don't need that i would definitely be trying to get his offensive awareness up over 85 you want him to be a really good attacking option for you i would also probably pop down the speed one to get to 78 stamina even though he's going to be covering a lot of grass you don't need to cover every blade of grass like somebody like caicedo or somebody like that with really high stamina like declan rice okay now from when you have a base here of 90 acceleration a 93 balance okay with 83 speed and the base is there then you make a decision whether you want him to be a passing uh attacking midfielder type player or you want him to be able to finish and shoot right if you want him to be a passing base player you can just pop four into passing to get 80 low pass okay i wouldn't personally if you want him to be shooting you can pop three into that and still have one left over to pop into dexterity or lower body okay so that is probably the route i would go with him i would go and make him a 95 overall and we're going to have him in kind of like a left wing winger position but kind of slotting in right um with martinelli okay if we are going to be taking a look at him um where's martinelli we have him here if we are going to be taking a look at martinelli as a roman flank we want to be training him slightly different, right? So this 94 rated version of him here, I personally think that you you probably don't need as much passing with, or as much shooting with him because you're not going to be cutting in. So I would completely get rid of the shooting and I would be using him to keep and spread the ball out and keep it out as far as you can out wide, right? You also don't need this much speed and stamina, even though you are going to be playing a slightly different role than Foden. I would probably think that 86 is enough um, or even 87 is enough to give you four into that dexterity wise 93 and 90 balance is more than enough i would probably pop the rest into passing right to get you that 80 lofted pass to be able to cross the ball in okay if you do not cross the ball in this is what i would change if you do not cross the ball in a lot so like you guys see me play with collar in my road to glory this is how i would train my martinelli if i wanted to have that option you've got blister and pace you've got brilliant balance you've got brilliant dribbling you've got the dribbling acceleration and balance of a, of a winger but you've also got 80 lofted pass which is huge but if you do not play with a target man i would completely get rid of this down to 70 i would get the low pass and the lofted pass at 70 and 71 and then i would decide right i'm going to just absolutely nail the acceleration on here i'm going to go to 97 with this 85 in the offensive awareness 94 on the balance and then we're going to pop in the rest we can either pop four into speed if you want to go that route with stamina if you do if you are very aggressive and then or else you can pop a couple into dribbling if you want to go that route as well so i definitely think that this martinelli is a very good option i wouldn't be cutting inside with him i'd be cutting inside with foden yes i would be cutting inside with foden um, and as you can see there he's a 94 overall as an amf but i wouldn't be with martinelli even though he's got 93 rating as an amf he can't play there so i would definitely be using martinelli as kind of a prolific winger while also crossing the ball in if you have a target man in the box um or else i'd be using him as somebody that is just able to cut in and pass in and kind of like you know sweat it across for your striker to just tap in if you've got romario or mbappe or somebody like that so two very different players similar in ways different in ways but yeah that is it for a double training guide let me know what you guys think and we will be back later peace